I'm gonna prove why Northwest actually auditioned for the part to play Simba in The Lion King and that she got the part based on that audition. So if you haven't heard, um, Northwest is getting a lot of backlash and so is Kanye West and Kim Kardashian because people are saying that the only reason why Northwest got this part to play Simba in Disney's Lion King, it's like a Hollywood Bowl live version of The Lion King. The only reason that she got this is because of nepotism. So first, let me play the clip so you can see it. Okay, so I think that she got the, the part based on her audition. Stay with me. I'm gonna give you an example of what I'm talking about and then once you hear this example, maybe you're gonna see where this is going as far as this whole story is concerned. I used to know someone and she had a friend who was extremely rich. One day this lady, I forget her name, I'm gonna say her name was Darla. She called the lady that I knew and she said, hey, I just got $27 million on my stock. She had UPS stocks that got her $27 million in one day. And so Darla had a daughter who wanted to be the star in her high school, I believe it was high school. It was some show at her high school where she'd be the lead dancer. But the problem is her daughter did not know how to dance at all. And so Darla told her, basically, you're going to have to, you know, audition and the whole thing and do the process like everybody else. Right. Um, but here's the problem. As Darla drove by her daughter's school, she noticed that the football field had really old bleachers and the football field just looked a mess. So Darla pays to get the entire football field completely, you know, remodeled, new bleachers, everything. It looked like a million dollars because that's probably what it cost. Right. And so basically the school made her daughter the lead in this play and she was the lead dancer. Why is that? Because I mean, how would you feel knowing that this person's mother spent all of this money to fix up the school and now her daughter wants to be in the play? You know, they probably felt guilt. They probably felt some obligation and they didn't want to say no to the daughter. So now the daughter's at the forefront of the stage. She's dancing and she could not dance. And she's literally counting out the moves, you know, looking like an idiot up there. She's, you know, doing all these weird moves. And, and, and everyone who was like really talented could not get that role because, the school felt obligated to give it to her. Do you see where I'm going with this? So everybody's saying, well, you know, Northwest, she she wasn't good enough to be in this show or like she she's not as good as the other singers. But here's the problem. There's a difference between being not good enough for the job and not knowing how to do the job, right? So I've been singing all my life. For example, if I were sitting there and, and people were coming to audition for a show and I'm gonna select whoever's going to win. And I tell someone, the first person I say, sing, Mary had a little lamb. And they come up to me and they go, Mary had a little lamb. I'm like, this person is not a singer. They're not a singer and they're not qualified. They don't know how to do the job. Person number two comes up to me and I say, sing the song. And they go, Mary had a little lamb. I'm like, okay, they're a singer but they have problems with their pitch, right? So even though they are a singer, they still gotta do a lot of work. So it might take them years before they're able to, especially be the lead singer, the, the main star of this show. Singer number three comes up and then they knock it out of the ballpark. They're doing runs, they're singing, and, and you know they're, they're, they're really good at their job. I'm gonna say this is one of the finalists. I'm, these, this, is, this person is one of the people that I'm gonna choose from either the many or the few who know how to do the job. So that's what I'm saying. You know, I don't want to, you know, make this make Northwest feel bad. She's only 10 years old, so I'm not going to get up here and, and say something horrible about her. But I do need to tell the truth and say she, it's not that she did a bad job. She doesn't know how to do the job. She's not a singer. I'm listening to her. She's singing off key. She doesn't. There's certain things. Let's say she went up there and she was a great singer and she had a bad night. Right. I've heard Beyonce have a bad night. I've heard Whitney Houston have a terrifying night but there's certain things that professional singers i don't care how old they are they 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 always know how to do if you can't hear yourself you might not sing on pitch because maybe something went wrong and you can't hear yourself but i've been singing all my life i'm listening to her she doesn't know that she's not singing in tune with the music and that is a problem and so what am i trying to say i gave that example for a reason you know Full Well 73, the same company, the same production company that produces the Kardashians are the ones who threw this Disney's Lion King show. Right. And so to me, it reminds me of the situation that I was talking about before. Maybe Kim Kardashian or Kanye West told their daughter, look, you're going to have to go through the proper channels and audition for this show. Right. Meanwhile, Full Well 73, they're producing the Kardashians and that's making them a whole lot of money, just like that school. Right. Who, when she came and fixed up that 
football field, they know that their money came from her and they may need they may need other things in the future. And they say, well, if she's willing to fix the football field, what if she's willing to fix the basketball stadium or what if she's willing to donate money that we don't have? So blah, blah, blah. So they're going to do exactly what she wants them to do. And so she's doing it in a passive aggressive way. She's getting her daughter to be able to perform in this show in a passive aggressive way where she's not less necessarily going to them and telling them, I want my daughter to be in the show. Her money's talking and, and putting her daughter in the show. And to me, that is nepotism. That's problematic because what you're teaching your daughter is that no is not an option. Your money, they're teaching their daughter what their money can do. Your money can make people's no turn into a yes real quick, especially when your money is their form of survival or they're making money from you. You see what I'm saying? And so my opinion is that this company, this production company, Full Well 73, they knew full well what they were doing, but I'm not going to blame them totally because maybe they feel like, hey, they make us a lot of money and we don't want them to get upset and and pull the show or, or you know, use another production company because they're bringing in a lot of eyeballs. They're bringing in a lot of money for us, right? I've heard, I don't know how true this is, but Bill Gates, I've heard that what he'll do is he'll donate millions of dollars to certain charities and certain organizations that would come out and speak against him about certain things. And so what that does is it causes them to feel a sense of obligation, right? They'll say, well, wait, he's doing this really horrible act or we really don't like what he's doing or what his company, Microsoft, is doing. But he's one of our largest donors. He donated $20 million so we can build this really fancy school at our college or whatever. We have this really fancy building. Are we really going to come out and say or speak against the person who's providing us with so many resources and so much money to help us do blah, blah, blah and create this fund and that fund? Let's just go ahead and zip it up. Or his daughter wants to get into the school and she, you know, she's not qualified. She's getting all D's in high school. But she wants to come to our, you know, elite university. Well, you know, normally we don't do that, but he's our biggest donor. Let's go ahead and let her in. You see what I'm saying? I think that's what it is. Um, But I want to know your opinion. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Um, You know, again, this is just speculation. I have no idea how true this is because a lot of people are speculating. They're wondering, did she really have an audition or was this nepotism? Either way, the fact that Full Well 73 is producing The Lion King and they're the same ones who produced The Kardashians. I think we can safely say that there's there's definitely some nepotism. Allegedly, I have to say that. But there is why, because this young lady, you know, I don't want to talk against her, but she's not she doesn't know how to do the job. It wasn't that she was bad at it. She doesn't know how to do the job. She's not a singer. And I know a lot of people are going to be upset. People who are her fans. Right. She is not a singer. OK, and my, my problem is this. I'm going to say this. I should have cut this video a long time ago, but I'm going to say it anyway. My problem is with certain certain art forms, especially singing. Singing is probably the number one art form, form of art where people don't feel like they have to do the work a lot of times in order to be, you know, to become popular, to become, you know, to, to get into the music industry. So you have these people who, you know, they have parents or people who work for record companies and they just get their kids a record deal. Right. Or they'll they'll sign them. And those children are not that talented. And you have people who are extremely talented who understand the art. For example, people like like this young lady, I hate to say it, but who, who don't realize that they're tone deaf. They don't know how to sing in tune with the music. That is like the number one thing you need to do to be a singer. And I feel like it disrespects the art. And it is very disrespectful when you have someone who comes up there to do a show like that and is the star of the show of The Lion King. It's going to be seen by millions of people. They're going to put this on the Kardashians. They're going to play it on an episode of the Kardashians. So millions of people are watching this and you are the star of the show, but yet you don't even know how to do the job. And you have people who don't have parents who aren't rich, right? Or their parents aren't rich who know how to do the job, who've been studying for years and practicing for years, and they'll never get it because they don't have parents who aren't rich. And I'm going to tell you something. I've been singing a long time. I'm listening to her. For her to be on the level to do that part, if it weren't, you know, the fact that she had rich parents or whatever, I would say just listening to her because she's not a natural, she's not a singer. You have people who are natural singers, but they need to work and get training, right? She's not a natural singer, which makes it 10 times harder to become a singer. It's going to take her minimum 10 years to be on the level where she could do something like that. But I'm going to say probably 20 to 25 years. Just listen to her voice. Because again, you have singers who've been singing all their life and who are 10 years old. Somebody like Michael Jackson could do that, right? 
people who are just naturally gifted with singing, but someone who doesn't have that gift, yeah, it would take them years and years of practice. And I'm looking at her and I know that she has not done the work to be able to have that role. I'm ranting now. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.